Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about mobile security and ways to secure your mobile application. It is very important to know the security attacks and how to prevent those attacks in your mobile applications. So we are going to go through five different attacks and the solutions for each one. The first one is unauthorized access to your app. Users without authentication are allowed to use your app in a possible malicious way. This is a definition of this attack. Also, in case of authenticating users, a malicious user may try to perform multiple attempts to log in and hack someone's account. So that impacts the security and performance of your application. So what are the solutions to this security issue is to implement user authentication for your application. The Flutter provides many plugins to take away the hassle of creating a new account. For example, if you want to create a whole system of signing up, choosing the username, choosing the password, and then user signs in with the new account that he or she created, that may be the hassle for the user. They have to remember their account, their username and password. But nowadays the Flutter makes it really easy to integrate the Google login or Facebook login or Twitter login. We have also Apple login, GitHub login. We have many different services that provide this Flutter plugins to integrate the sign-in system with your application. User just needs to select his or her account, for example, Google account or Facebook account, and they can log in to your application. And also you have to make sure that if you have the sign up for your application, you need to check whether a user is trying to log in multiple times. So if in case of multiple failed attempts, you need to log access to that account. The second security threat is leaking of sensitive data. Nowadays, there are lots of sensitive data users deal with. For example, passwords, PIN, banking details. This sensitive data can be leaked by a malicious user. Also, on your side as a developer, you may save some sensitive data on the device and away from user and for your application to run properly. And this also contributes to having insecure applications. So what is the solution to this security threat? As a developer, you need to avoid storing sensitive data on the device and use shared preferences in Flutter that works on Android and iOS. I have a video on shared preferences and how to use it. You can check it out. And even in the shared preferences, try to avoid storing password and API tokens. If you want to store some sensitive data and if you have to, you can use secure storage plugin that is available in Flutter. It securely saves your sensitive data using a strong encryption. Also, you need to keep in mind that if you are using caching for your application, maybe you use it or maybe by default the Flutter and Android or iOS use this feature. You need to be aware of this feature. Basically, caching is a method that stores images and data in memory to speed up the app's performance. In this way, the app doesn't need to download same data every time. So it is available in the memory and if the application requires it, it can easily and in a fast way access that data. So in case of using in-memory cache, it's a good practice to clear the cache when the app is switched to the background or it is closed. You can search for ways to clear the cache in Android and iOS. The third attack is called session ID attacks by the unauthorized user. 
Some users unintentionally access sensitive data on the app while a valid user is active. For example, when you lend your phone to, to a friend or family member, they can easily access your sensitive data because you have already logged into an application. This also can be intentional as someone wants to steal users' data when they are working with the app. So how to deal with this threat? In addition to the device level authentication, which means when the user unlocks the phone, there is security, either it is fingerprint or passcode, that is the device level authentication. In addition to that, developers can add app level authentication. For your application, you can use local auth plugin in Flutter. This plugin works on both Android and iOS and you can integrate Touch ID on iOS and fingerprint sensor on Android. The next one is code injection via malicious user. A malicious user can access the database of your application and insert unauthorized codes and gain access to your app or corrupt data on your app. And such attacks are not difficult to execute. What is the solution? Basically, uh, nowadays, all official plugins already include codes to stop this attack and stop the unauthorized access. So before you use a Flutter plugin, check the popularity and the rating on the Flutter plugin and make sure that it is popular, it is up to date, and lots of users have approved this plugin. And the last one is securing the smaller app window. What is smaller app window? Basically, when you switch to another app on Android or iOS, you have your app as a small window among other apps. In multitasking view or in switching view, switching windows. So in this case, when you have sensitive data on your app and you want to switch apps, the content of your app is going to be as a small window, but the content is still visible to unauthorized users and the sensitive data is easily accessible. What to do with this threat? There is no official solution for this security risk. You can search the web to find any available solution proposed by developers. Also, this plugin is helpful for protecting your app when switching between apps. So this is the plugin secure application. It works on Android and iOS and as it is shown on the demo, when you go to the small app window, you want to switch to another app, the app becomes all black. So unauthorized user cannot access or see the sensitive data on your app. And when you go back to the app, it needs to authenticate you through Face ID or Touch ID or fingerprint sensor on Android. So there is an installation guide and also an example in this plugin. Also on the right side, you can see how many likes it has and the points that it has on this pop.dev website and also the popularity. And if you click on it, you can see it in detail and you can see all the scores for this plugin. So this is one of the solutions and you can also disable taking screenshot while the app is in the small window or generally when a user is working with your app, you can disable taking screenshot. You can check this source that allows you to manage app window and you can add flags. This is the URL on the GitHub. You can go to this website and check the resource. So generally these were five different security threats for any application, any mobile application, Android or iOS. I hope this was helpful and I hope I could bring your attention to the security of the application you are developing. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I will see you in the next video.